Hey guys, today I'm going to do the third installment in my Game Maker platformer tutorials and today I'm going to teach you how to do a save game load game feature so if your player has to take a break then they can save the game and come back to it later on first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the sprites we're going to do this just like our main, like our main menu sprites we're going to do sprite load game uh, it's gonna make it 200 by 100 again, like we did last time. We're gonna draw a box. You can make yours any way you want, it's just how I do it. Save time and it's nice and easy. Text. Load game. A bit big. That fits and fill it in black again like I did last time. Oops, don't want to do that. And then I can duplicate it. Sprite load game. Mouse, oops, mouse, enter. Put it sprite image. But nice. Perfect. And now on for the new game button, because if you can't start a new game, then yeah. New game. Edit sprite. New sprite. 200 by 100. Text, oops, new game, oh god, what's wrong with my typing today? New game, duplicate that, sprite, new, oops, game, mouse, Enter. Okay, right, so we've got sprites. Now we're going to make two objects. The one, number one, is going to be object new game. It's going to have our first new game sprite, sprite new game. And the next one is going to be object load game. Object load game. And that's going to have our first load game sprite, so just sprite load game. Now, object new game. We're gonna do what we did with the main menu sprites. Add event, mouse, enter, add event, mouse, leave, mouse, enter, change sprite, sprite new game, mouse, enter, mouse, leave, change sprite to sprite new game. Uh, we're gonna play our sound again. So we're gonna get the mouse roll over sound, loop is false. Um, we're going to go add event, mouse, left pressed, it's just going to take us to the different room. Uh, it's going to take us to no, our level 1. Okay, now, load game. We're going to go add event, mouse, left pressed, add event, mouse, enter, and add event, mouse, leave. It's going to be the exact same again, mouse enter, change sprite, sprite load game, mouse enter, mouse leave, change sprite, sprite load game, uh, mouse enter, play sound, mouse play sound, play sound, mouse roll over, and left press, now this is where it gets a little bit tricky, we're just going to, well it's not really tricky, but if you do it wrong it doesn't work, we're going to drag this load game, now this file, where it says file name, save game, you need to remember that it says save game. Normally save game is the default, but yeah. Okay, so load the game. Now I'm just going to pause the video, because there's a sprite that I forgot to make. And I don't want to keep you... Okay, so what I did while I was paused, I think I kind of cut off part of that audio there, but oh well. What I did was I was paused was I just made a sprite, a save game sprite, that was it. Nothing important. I just didn't want to keep you guys waiting for ages and ages while I made them. So I got save game sprite, 
and I got a save game mouse enter. This sprite was 100 by 50. It does need to be smaller. It does need to fit inside your game run. Now we're going to make an object. Uh, it's going to be object save game. It's going to have the sprite save game. I made a sprite save game mouse enter as well. So we're going to do add event mouse left press, add event, mouse, enter, and add event, mouse, leave, mouse, enter, change sprite, this is, this shouldn't be new to you by now, mouse, enter, change sprite, spike, save game, mouse, enter, mouse, leave, change back to the original sprite, which was sprite, save game, uh, then mouse, enter, play rollover sound, okay, now left pressed, we're going to Save the game, file name, save game, default, and we're going to, uh, it's going to take us back to the main menu. If you want, just to make sure this works, you can put it in arrows. So it, save, it definitely saves the game, then does to go to the room. So we've got object load game, it loads the game. So now, we're going to go into room zero which is our level one put the save game save game sprite in there and we're gonna test it out play oh wait sorry guys being a bit of an idiot I forgot to put the uh, put right we're gonna yeah I forgot to do something I'm gonna put in another room we're gonna rename it and I'm gonna call it load game slash save game it's just the load game save game screen so now put wait sorry load game new game okay right in this load game new game i'm gonna put our object load game and object new game and on object i don't think i did object new game did i Object new game was best. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, right. So run the room. Right. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, sorry guys. I made another mistake, which was very stupid of me. We want to change our object play button. Left pressed. We want to make us make it takes to the load game new game screen, not the level one. Okay, right. Now it should work. If it doesn't, I will shoot myself. No, probably not. Joking. Right. So play game. Hit play. Load game, new game. So first we click new game. We're gonna move our character from here to here. Now take note of where he is. He is in the middle square of the second platform. Now we click our save game button. Now when we click play, we click load, and he's still in that same place. So we move up here, save game, play, load game, and he's still there. Okay, so that's how you do that. Sorry about all the mistakes I made. They were just stupid mistakes. I did know what I was doing, believe it or not. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I think that might be it for the... Oh, no, wait, no, it's not. Still got some more things to show you. Okay, so see you later, guys.